Hello friends, this video on Atoms part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 13 before going ahead with part 14. Let us look at the first problem. It says, what is the shortest wavelength present in the Pashkin series of spectral lines? So where was Pashkin? Started with Lyman, Balmer, Pashkin, bracket and P fund, right? So Pashkin corresponded to N is equal to 3, right? So let us apply Rydberg's formula which was 1 by lambda is equal to R into 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square, right? So what was N1? N1 is equal to 3 for Pashkin. Now we have to calculate the shortest wavelength. So the wavelength would be shortest, that means the wavelength would be minimum when the transition takes place from the nearest higher energy level. That means N1 is equal to 3. So which is the nearest higher energy level? That is 4. So when the transition takes place from the nearest higher energy level, that time the wavelength, I'm sorry, it's, it's a slip of tongue. Uh, the wavelength would be minimum when the transition takes place from the energy level which is farther away, which is farthest from the this energy level N1 is equal to 1. If transition takes place from here, then the wavelength is maximum. Now, if the transition takes place from infinity, then the wavelength would be minimum. So, lambda would be minimum when N2 is equal to infinity. Therefore, 1 by lambda minimum is equal to r into 1 by n1 square because 1 by infinity would be 0. So r divided by 9. Therefore lambda minimum is equal to 9 by r. What is the value of r? r is 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 meter inverse. So if we put this value we get lambda minimum is equal to 8.2 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters. So this is the shortest wavelength for the Pashkin series. Let us look at the next problem. It says a difference of 2.3 electron volt separates two energy levels in an atom. Let us suppose these are the two energy levels. Let us say E1 and E2. So the difference between the energy levels is 2.3 electron volts. What is the frequency of radiation emitted when the atom make a transition from the upper level to lower level? So if the atom make a transition from E2 to E1, radiation will be emitted. So now what would be the emitted radiation's frequency? The change in energy level that is delta E is equal to H into nu. So from this we can say nu is equal to delta E divided by H. So here delta E is given as 2.3 electron volts, that is 2.3 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules divided by H. H is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 34. So on calculating, we get 5.55 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. So this would be the frequency of the radiation emitted. Let us now look at the third problem. It says the ground state energy of hydrogen atom is minus 13.6 electron volts. What are the kinetic and potential energies of the electron in this state? So when we are talking about ground state, we are talking about the energy level corresponding to n is equal to 1. Now how do I calculate the kinetic energy and potential energy? From the expressions which we have derived in the, uh, in, in the topic, under the topic uh, electron orbits, we saw that kinetic energy is equal to negative of the total energy and potential energy is equal to twice of total energy. So in this case, what is the total energy in the ground state? Here, in total energy is given as minus 13.6 electron volts. Therefore, kinetic energy will be minus of E that is equal to 13.6 electron volts. This would be the kinetic energy. What would be the potential energy? It will be twice of the total energy that is 2 into minus 13.6 
which is equal to minus 27.2 electron volts. So this would be the potential energy. Let us now have a look at problem 4. It says that a hydrogen atom initially in the ground level absorbs a photon which excites it to the n is equal to 4 level. Determine the wavelength and frequency of the photon. So now here it says that initially it was at ground level. That means initially n1 is equal to 1. Now it absorbs a photon and it gets excited to n is equal to 4 level. That is n2 is equal to 4. So what will be the energy at the ground level? That is minus 13.6 divided by n1 square electron volt. And what would be the energy at this excited level? It will be minus 13.6 divided by n2 square electron volt. So this comes out to be minus 13.6 electron volt and this comes out to be minus 13.6 divided by 16 electron volt. Therefore, what is the change in energy? The change in energy is or the difference in energy is E2 minus E1 that is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 16 minus minus 13.6 Right, so this is the change in energy. Now we have to determine the wavelength and frequency of the photon. Now as I mentioned before also, if this is n is equal to 1 and if this is n is equal to 4. Now after absorbing a photon, that means when radiation is absorbed, radiation of frequency nu is absorbed, it gets excited to this energy level. So we can say that delta E is equal to h nu. So delta E is minus 13.6 divided by 16 plus 13.6 is equal to h nu. So from this we can say that this frequency nu can also be written in terms of lambda that is hc by lambda is equal to 2.04 into 10 to the power minus 18. So this is what you get on calculating this because this is given in terms of electron volt. So you will also convert it in 2 joules. So you multiply it by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So from this you will get lambda is equal to 97 nanometers. So this would be the wavelength of the photon. So you can very easily calculate the frequency which is given by C by lambda that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 97 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So this comes out to be 3.1 into 10 to the power 15 hertz. So this would be the frequency of the photon absorbed. So I have not done this calculation in detail. You can calculate it on your own and you'll find that you get the wavelength as 97 nanometers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.